So making the actual integration between your Shopify and your Wix account should be actually really, really easy. And why you should do that, why you want to do this, because this is the process of making automations. So that means that if I have a Shopify and I have making an order into Shopify, or let's say that I need to send some emails or somebody entered, somebody did any kind of activity into Wix and I want this automation to happen between Shopify and Wix at the same time, I'm going to be using this app called Zapier. Now, Zapier is going to be helping us to connect one account into another one. So creating an account is like really, really, really easy and we can do this totally for free. And what you want to do is to go directly into your applications and here you can add a connection between different, different apps. In our case, you wanted to create a new SAP between Wix and the actual Shopify. So my trigger comes from Shopify and the event, let's say that when somebody uh, clicked and created like a new customer, this is my event. And this is what starts the SAP. So I'm going to hit now into continue. And then I need to connect my Shopify. That's the reason why I need, of course, to have my Shopify account already been enabled. I'm going to hit into sign in. And later on, I just need to grant the access between one app into another one. Like really, really easy to do. So if you don't know what is the actual name of your Shopify account, you want it to go back here. And in the upper side, here appears your actual name. In my case, it's Sophia's. And there we go. As you can see, the Zapier has now been enabled. I'm going to hit into install the application and my Shopify should be correctly added. So I'm going to go into continue and we can test your trigger. So you find a recent customer in your Shopify account to configure the right accounts connected. I'm going to go into test my trigger just to make sure that this one is actually working. So I'm going to go back into my Shopify and I want to create a new customer. So I'm going to go for, let's say, Sophie example i have the email let's go for hello at example.com and here is the actual phone number then i'm going to head down into save and let's see if this one appears into the sap so i can import this into wix because this is the reason why i wanted to make the automation the connection between wix and shopify and since we don't have any action available into wix i can go into wix answers and my account should be appearing here. So I'm going to go into agree and add. And the third party apps should be granted the access automatically. So there we go. As you can see, it wasn't that hard. Choosing the actual automation rule, you can choose here a custom one. You can create a new option if you wanted to. And the automation should be appearing in here. Email customer when their payment method has been updated. There we go. So as you can see, it wasn't that hard to do that from Wix into Shopify. You can do much more integrations, but that really depends on what you're actually looking for. So I think we have now covered the basics. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools from Zapier. So you can move from one application into another one. And you can use almost any kind of application depends on the actual library that Tapir has to offer to us. So thank you once again for watching the video guys. See you next time.